down with E. And how do you spell that? It's spelled D A U N G, and then Noe, my middle name, is N W E and A Y E. I'm 16. How old were you when you came to the United States? When I came here, I was three and a half. I was born in Thailand, and um, I lived in a camp for a little while. Currently, I'm attending school to get my diploma so I could go to college and go to med school. I want to become an OBGYN. I love children and I want to like help them, help women and help children come into the world. And where do you go to high school here in Fort Wayne? I go to Northrop High School. I like it a lot. My best friends are like um, Vietnamese and there's Malaysian and I have a lot of Burmese friends. In the United States, we have the right of freedom of speech and religion. I'm a Muslim, which means my religion is Islam. And like, I really like care about my religion. Like, I, I don't wear a hijab and I don't pray five times a day, but like, I don't, I remember who I am and like, I still have like dignity about myself, you know? It's um, Ramadan right now, and I'm fasting. I try to fast every day. I wake up before the sun comes up, and I eat and drink water so I stay hydrated during the day. And then um, I have to stop my fast. I say this prayer. And then, so like for the rest of the day, I can't drink or eat or like, it's even bad to fight with my little brother or fight with anyone or, you know, it's not good. I can eat when the sun goes down. Let me make sure I understand. So you wake up before the sun comes up, and you can eat a little bit and drink at that time? Yes. And then the sun comes up, and then no food, and you try to be good and not argue mm. or what have you for the whole day. And then when the sun goes down, then you can have a regular meal again? Yes. Okay. And how often do you do that during Ramadan? Um, for all 30 days, or like as, mu as many days as you can. And I've heard that there are parties at Franke Park during this time. <laughs> parties? Have, yeah, have you heard of those? Yes. Yeah. That, those days are the best because um, it's the end of the month and you, like, there's like a feast and all the Muslims, well almost all the Muslims, um, join, gather at that place and we all pray and then we eat and like, all the kids have new clothes and so do the adults. And like the little kids, if you go around to the adults, you say, Asalaamu Alaikum Eid, the adults will give you like a treat or like a few dollars cause you, cause because you were good. You're living in Indiana. Would you, <laughs> would, do you like it here? I like Indiana because it's a very like good place for families to grow up and live. But I also like to like go to New York City and to the beach and places like that. It's a really Christian area. The majority of people are Christian. Does that cause you any problems, or do you find that people let you live just like you let them live? I can live like I live. Like sometimes in school, like there are kids that are like um, biased or racist, and they'll say things like, "Ha, oh, you're a terrorist," or you know, "Oh, you're Asian," and stuff like that. And sometimes it hurts me, but I just forget about it because I still know who I am and. Like, I shouldn't, I, I know better to not let their words hurt me. Have you always felt that way, or has it, has it become easier as you've gotten older? It's become easier as I got older. With my rights as living in the um, United States, I've got freedom of religion, freedom of speech, freedom to live how I want to. And the people, they can come here and they can live how they want to. The new people, they can go out and Go to school, have an education, if they try hard. But I think for the people that's already living in the United States, it's for them to make the new people feel welcome and feel like even if you don't like them, like don't say mean things to their faces or like snicker at them when they walk by. Do you have any desire to go back to Thailand or to Burma to visit? Yes. Do you? I really want to go to Thailand and Burma. I want to like visit all the cities, like even like the countryside, the cities, um, especially like the places that I lived in and the places that my parents met and where they lived in. 
What do you think about all that's going on in Burma right now? I think it's, I don't know what to do. Like, I think it's really bad and I wish, I wish we're like, even if it's not in this generation, in the future generations, and even if my parents don't get to see it, that Burma becomes free. And like, even like the people that ran away, the students, they could go back in Burma and not be shot or arrested. I volunteer a lot and my parents, um, my, both of my parents are in the committee of the Burmese Muslim community. So if there's like an event going on, I'll go and um, I'll go help and interpret. English is really easy for me. Do you have any ideas as a young person, as you are, when you see the new refugees from Burma coming to uh, Fort Wayne, Indiana, and you see them in their apartments, I'm sure you've visited them, um, do you have any ideas of how our society could help them more than we already are? Our society could help them more by helping them learn English, and we are. It's just giving them reasons why to learn. Many of them understand that it's like it's very important to learn English, to pay your bills. There's electricity bill, water bill, everything. And then if you want to work, you have to learn how to speak English so that you could pay for all that. So trying to get them to understand the importance of the language is mm -hmm. one thing. Is there anything else? Many kids that grew up here, even the Burmese kids, are very different from the new, the new kids. Like some of the, the girls here, they, they just stay home and they clean and they can't leave the house unless it's to go shopping and like grocery shopping, not to hang out with friends that much. And like, I don't want to influence them in a bad way, but I want to like just hang out with them and like see what it's like to like be with other people, other races, because when you like, it's just like going back to kindergarten. It doesn't matter about what race you are or like how old you are, where you came from, because you just meet someone and you act like your best friend. And why aren't the girls uh, that are coming over with the families recently from Burma, why aren't they allowed to go out very much? I'm, I'm guessing it's because where they lived in, back in Thailand, it was like that, like girls didn't get to do, have, have, girls didn't get to have as much freedoms as the boys did. Is that tradition? Yeah, that is tradition. Is that heavily influenced by the Islamic faith, do you think? Or would that be even in the Buddhist families? Do you have any idea? Yeah, Buddhist and Islamic faith. I try not to call the refugees, like, refugees, because um, I'm, I'm afraid, like, especially in front of them, I don't want them to feel like they're lower than me. Or, or like, somebody will ask me, like, how long have you lived in the United States? Oh, I've, I've been here since... I was 3, 11, 10 years. They're like, oh really? You must know a lot of English. We don't know, we don't know anything. And I don't want them to feel like they can't learn and they can't try hard to fit in here. And you think that by calling them refugee, it puts them in a different uh, class, different category? Yes. I see. And do you think that my calling somebody a refugee does the same thing? Or is it because you're also and, and I'm a refugee myself. I fled um, Thailand and Burma with my parents. What would you say to um, an American, a native-born American, who doesn't think that refugees and other immigrants should keep coming to the United States? Like, even though the refugees come here and they have to live off food stamps and cash money for a while, they don't get as much money to, some people only get $48 a month for the, like a family of six people. But over there it's even worse. They, ha they don't get to eat meat or the vegetations. Some people are really like malnourished over there and they're punished. Even in Thailand I think they're like um, discriminated too because 
the people from Burma came into Thailand and they're kind of illegal. Are you happy here? I'm happy here. I get to live in a nice house and my parents care about me. They care about um, my brothers and my education a lot. Like they don't want to see us. Well, I don't think any parents want to see their kids fail or be bad, but I'm like really thankful that my parents um, work really hard for us to live like this. And what about the rest of your life? Do you allow yourself to think ahead and <laughs> think what you want? Yeah, I always think about what I want. Um, I think about like, I, I can see myself um, coming to visit my parents all the time, um, always like seeing my family on the weekends. Um, I plan on getting married with my parents' approval when I'm older, like when, I, if, when I'm stable to have a good life and financially stable to have a family.